What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ivan. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you like any of the content that you find on this channel, don't forget to hit the notification bell, like, comment, subscribe. Check out the description. The description always has links. In today's video, we're talking Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny is back. This album is everything. I'm so here for this album. El Rey de la Musica Urbana is going off right now. We have Carol on the charts. We have Bad Bunny on the charts, battling it for the number one spot. He is back with a brand new album, and this album is definitely one of my favorite albums he's ever made. You have to talk about it. Let's get into it. There's lots of hits. It's going to be the summer anthem soundtrack. It's going to be the soundtrack of my summer. I know that. Well, brand new album by Bad Bunny, Un Verano Sin Ti. Let's cover all my favorite tracks and talk about how Bad Bunny celebrated the launch of this new album, Un Verano Sin Ti, A Summer Without You. It's his latest album. It has 23 tracks, all Caribbean, you know, reggaeton, dembo, urbano music going off, vibes. The album was just released. It was released May 6th. This is actually Bad Bunny's fifth studio album. And get this, guys. This this album has already just came out and this album already immediately went to number one on Spotify and is the most streamed album on Spotify. Man, if you guys want to talk about numbers and people pulling numbers, Bad Bunny is a guy that's pulling numbers right now. He is just that dude right now. He just had a great week at the Met Gala. I wasn't really too fond of the outfit, but you know what? Anything that Bad Bunny puts on, he looks good in. He's just a very, very handsome guy. I love his fashion enthusiasm. As soon as the album was released, he was also named the most streamed global artist artist in one day. One day with 183 million streams. Those are numbers, y'all. Those are numbers. This guy is like the king of pop. Who's doing that? Who else does that? I don't know who else is doing that nowadays. Congratulations, Bad Bunny. This album just dropped and it's already breaking records. So many people are listening to this album. People who don't even speak Spanish because it doesn't matter. It's about the vibe. It's a mood. I personally listen to German music all the time and I don't speak German. So yeah, if something feels good and sounds good, you're just gonna bump to it and listen to it. And that's what everybody's doing with Bad Bunny. Drop a comment. What's your favorite song? I want to know about it. Everyone's going off with TikToks. Their content is coming out and just pushing more streams for this album. And but let's talk about how Bad Bunny celebrated the launch of this because he did some cool things to celebrate the launch of this brand new album. He was also in New York City filming a brand new music video for the song Titi Me Preguntos. It looked like a good time. At Met Gala, nobody knew that Bad Bunny was about to drop this new album. I mean, we knew that a new album was coming. We just didn't know when it was. A couple days later, he just drops the new album. On the night that the album was was released, Bad Bunny actually went to Brooklyn to celebrate. He went to this little bar called Donita's Improv Album Release Party. Nobody knew. He just popped up and showed up and you know, super, super cute pictures. They, they had beers, they listened to the new album. How cool is that? Like you're a bar owner and then Bad Bunny just comes in to celebrate. He's such a huge global artist. People have been waiting for this album. And even though Bad Bunny was in New York celebrating the launch of his new album, he did make sure that the people on the island of Puerto Rico were also celebrating with him. And that is why 50 locations in Puerto 50 different bars and different little exclusive spots were actually serving beer at 50 cents as a treat from Bad Bunny. This is what the flyer looks like. Super, super cute. It's not you, but with a cold one. Bad Bunny invites you to happy hour while you listen to his album. That was the official flyer. Something else that Bad Bunny did in celebration of the launch of his new album was offer free tattoos as well. Bad Bunny also teamed up with a tattoo shop in order to offer fans free tattoos. This is a brand new spot in Miami. The Bad Bunny pop-up shop took place on Tuesday, May 10th. It was a first come, first serve basis for the fans over 18. And it was presented by House of a Thousand Roses. I think it's cute. This album is doing really, really well. The whole album to me is really well done. Omas Call Mule, I love that song. Un Verano Sin Ti, I love the title song of the album. It, it's so good, I love it. Efectos, having that on rotation heavy. Love La Corriente, Un Ratito, Party. I also really like Me Puerto Bonito. Definitely go check out those tracks. If you're going to the Bad Bunny concert, definitely drop us a comment. This is definitely one of those artists that is just really impactful to me many people watch his latest video. It's really well done. It's, at one point, it looks like he's not wearing anything and, and everyone's kind of like, ooh, about that. But he looks really good. He's just a very, very special artist who just does what he wants, wears what he wants. Definitely has a, an amazing ear for music. It really shows if you listen to all his albums, in my opinion, they have only gotten better and he's only gotten bigger. My next thing, when is the next Carol G feature coming? Because we need another Bad Bunny Carol G feature. They are the it people in the Latin Urbano music community scene right now and they're taking over. They are no longer just in the Latin scene. They are no longer in the Latino Urbano music scene. The Latino Urbano music scene has exploded and they were the ones to make it explode. They're doing big things. These two Latin artists are charting on Billboard's Hot 100. That's really hard to do as a Latin artist to be featured on the Hot 100 American charts. To be making it onto those charts is for a reason. We need another feature with them too. And while we're at it, throw Evie Queen in there as well because I need a Carol G and Evie 
Evie Queen feature. Well, have you heard the new album? Let me know what you feel about it. Let me know what you think. What are your favorite tracks? Drop a comment. All right, guys, until the next scene, until the next vlog, until the next commentary and review, I'm gonna talk to you guys later. All of these videos are for entertainment purposes.